guys. So today the instrument we're going to look at is an instrument that all of you guys have already known and played with a ton in the music room. This is my slide whistle. I love this instrument. You guys know we play games where if the slide whistle goes down, we go down and if it goes up, we stand up. It's one of my favorite things to use in the music room. This was actually a gift for my birthday when I turned 21, a music teacher who was helping me at a music camp gave this to me for my birthday. So it's kind of a special instrument for me. It's also one of those instruments in the music room that I don't let you guys play, but I have a good reason for that. It's because my mouth goes on this one and I don't think you guys wanna put your mouth on an instrument that my mouth touched, that would be icky. So just only me to play this one. But you know, you can get slide whistles that are made out of plastic at stores and just really have a lot of fun with it. I bet your parents would love that. So the slide whistle, the reason I pointed it out today is that today you're gonna be doing a lot of lessons and videos about high sounds and low sounds. And the slide whistle has high notes. And if you pull it all the way out, it has our low sound. So it's a good instrument to talk about high and low with. Uh, I also think it's like a fun mini science lesson. Cause if you look, I just pulled out this handle all the way down, which makes this really big. And there's a stopper right here, all the way at the bottom right now. Now, if I put this all the way up, now that stopper just went all the way up to right here. So the shorter that the air has to go through, the higher the sound. And as I give it more and more space for the air to go through, the sound gets lower. Which is true for all of our instruments. That's why my ukulele has a higher sound than my guitar, which is bigger. And that's why our really big bass marimbas make those really low sounds. Where our smaller little xylophones and our itty bitty glockenspiels make the highest sounds. So size does matter on whether or not you're gonna make something sound high or make something sound low. And the slide whistle is the perfect example of it. Plus, it's also just a funny noise. You can hear it in TV shows and in movies. I've actually played this in professional band concerts before where I had to go uh, And it's just a really fun instrument to have the slide whistle. 